All right, lads, let's get this done. Let's get your Facebook Ads Manager sorted and ready for iOS 14.5 because from Monday, Apple is enforcing the app transparency framework. What that means is Facebook's going to have to push an update next week to all their users and it's going to say, hey, Karen, do you want to be tracked by Facebook? And Karen's gonna go, <laughs> no. There are four things that you need to do right this second because literally you're running out of hours. It takes at least 48 hours to verify your domain, which brings us on to our first point, verifying your domain. This is how you get it done. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is pull up your ads manager, then click business settings. Once you pull this up in the left hand menu, click brand safety and then domains. You're going to get this page. Now, if your domain is already here, you'll see it looking like this. If it's not in this top left hand corner, type your domain, then click add. It will then appear like this, which will give you a page showing that your domain is unverified. Okay, so now what we need to do is take this code here from Facebook ads manager and paste that into our DNS settings. If you've never modified DNS settings before, don't stress, it's not too complicated. Essentially what you're doing is you're going hey Facebook I'm going to paste your code into my domain admin and then Facebook's like hey yeah you must own the domain because you can do that and everything links up and you can then become verified. So this first example is if you bought your domain through Shopify, you want to log into Shopify, click online store, then domains, then click manage. In the top right hand corner, 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 <laughs> corner, you're going to click DNS settings. This is going to pop up all of your DNS settings for your website. You're going to jump back into Facebook, grab that DNS code, jump back into Shopify, click add custom record, click add text record. In the first box, put an at sign and then in the second box, put the code you just copied. Then click confirm, jump back into Facebook ads and click verify. Now, if you didn't buy your domain through Shopify, no stress at all. If you bought it through Namecheap, GoDaddy or any other provider, all you have to do is log into your domain management panel, find the DNS settings. So in this case, it's Namecheap. You click manage, you pull up the DNS settings. We are then going to do the exact same thing. We are going to add a new text record, put the at sign in the first box, copy the code from Facebook, paste it into our domain management settings, click confirm or save, then jump back into Facebook and click verify. Boom, done. To be honest, that's probably the hardest one. So if you found that really easy, then you'll find the rest an absolute breeze. The second thing you want to do to be ready for iOS 14.5 is set up your conversion events because the last thing you want to do is for Facebook to automatically assign view content as your main conversion event because it means in the future, people will not be purchasing off you. They'll just be viewing the content. Oh yeah. Good waste of money there. <laughs> this is how you do that. In Facebook ads, click settings. Then in the business tools menu at the top, you want to click that and now click events manager. I'll find it in a second. There we go. Boom. Then you're going to pull up the actual ad account, select the right one in the top right hand corner. And then in the blurred menu here on the left, make sure you select the actual ad or Facebook page that you want to edit. You're then going to click aggregated event measurement, click configure events, and then find the domain that you just verified. You want to open that up and now click edit events. Now Facebook's going to automatically assign different events based on recent pixel data. So if you haven't had many view contents or add to carts or purchases in the last seven days, you probably won't see them here. So make sure your pixel is firing right. You can then edit them as you want. Make sure you select value optimization, switch that baby on. Essentially, the higher the number here, the more of a priority that event is for you. So you of course want to have purchase as having the most events assigned to it and then add to cart view content below that. You might as well get that hand ready for those Lambo keys just to beautifully just 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 slide in there. Oh yeah. Video effects. Woo. <laughs> because you are almost there. The last thing you want to do is check out your ad sets and make sure that your verified domain is assigned to your ad sets. If that's not done correctly, well, spoiler, on Monday they're going to turn off automatically and you're going to stop making any sort of money. So you need to do this now. It's really, really easy. All you have to do is jump back into your Facebook ads. You then want to pull up all your active campaigns, click ads, and then one by one just click edit. Scroll to the very bottom and make sure under tracking and website events that the ad is showing your new verified domain. If that is all looking good, then you are ready for iOS 14.5. It wasn't too bad, was it? So buckle up because it's going to get wavy, but hey, we are all good. We're going to be there with you every single step of the way, testing out new strategies, making sure that you can keep making money throughout iOS 14.5. If you found value in today's video, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button because once we reach 1,000 subscribers, which is not too far away, we are releasing an Ecom Lion only subscriber Facebook group. So if you want to be a part of that community and get more value, make sure you hit that beautiful red button down below. But hey, thank you so much for watching. I'm Ecom Lion. I'll catch you next week.